Hello everyone! Today we continue working with the spiral dress. You can see the two cut details in front of me. This is the green one, and the blue one looks pretty much the same. Now we can start taking the dress. First I need to take the underarm seams. This is the right side. I need to cut the extra piece. I pinned the seam and now I can start take it. I know that this dress is pretty complicated, but actually the most complicated moment is drawing a pattern. Notice that I marked the seams in the details with a piece of chalk on the green detail and with a pencil on the blue one. Notice that there is no seam here. When I tag the dress, you'll realize that it's actually not that hard to make it. I recommend making a couple of seams. Do it in order not to waste too much fabric. Attack the underarm seam in the green detail. Now we'll do the same thing with the blue detail. It's almost impossible to make a mistake after taking the sleeves. The underarm seams are ready. Notice that I haven't even detached the patterns yet. Next, I need to take the shoulder seam. Have a look at this detail. This is the neckline, center front, sleeve. Once again, sleeve, neckline, center front, shoulder. There will be no seam on the second shoulder. Let's continue working. Next, I need to attach the blue detail here. I'm showing you everything very thoroughly for you not to have any questions. I marked the shoulder seams in both details, so now I just have to match the marks. This is the first leaf, and this is the second one. This detail will be attached here. I'll detach the pattern for you to see everything clearly. Every mark means something. Center front, shoulder seam. I'll tag this part now. It's very important to mark all the details and seams, otherwise you wouldn't be able to tag and stitch the dress. Notice that all the details match.
I'm taking this seam now. The underarm seams are ready. The shoulder seam is ready. This is the seam I'm taking now. I mark the center front in the details. The side seam is also marked. All the details match. Very nice. This is how the first seam looks like. Next, I want to make a short spacing seam on the shoulder. I did it because there is no shoulder seam in this detail. But I need to know where it is. Let's continue working. I can't detach the whole pattern at once, even though it's not convenient to work with it. I need to match the marks on the center back. Next, I need to pin and tag the distance between the side seam and the center back seam. Notice how I tag the details from one side seam to the other. The more checkpoints you draw, the less problems you have when taking. This is where the side seam is. I'll stop here. This is how the front of the dress looks like now. Have a look at the sleeves. And this is how the back looks like. Have a look at the dress once again. Tack this first seam and then just continue taking spiral wise. To tack this seam, first I need to match the notches on the center front. This is how all the seams should be tacked. Move from one mark to the other. And so on. This is the only way to tack this dress. This is the seam which goes from the shoulder, and it's already tacked to the hips. Let's get back to the second seam. It also starts on the shoulder and goes to the armhole. These details also match. Very nice. I'm taking this seam now. Hold on. 
This is the underarm seam. Have a look at the seam. This is how it looks like from the front and from the back sides. Next, I need to pin this detail. Match the marks on the center front. As I've already said, move from one point to the other. Don't hurry and be very attentive. I'm taking this part now. Notice how perfectly the details match. I tagged this seam, and now I'm taking this one. I've pinned the marks on the center front to do it. I was thinking how to make this dress. I don't want to make any seams, but the ones which attach the details to each other. That means that I can't make a zipper. That means that the dress should be made of fabrics which stretch. That, in its turn, means that it should be stitched on special equipment. I need to match the next marks to take this part. All the details match. When I finish taking this part, I'll show you what I did. After that, we'll continue working. You can see that it's not hard to take this dress. Making the pattern was the only complicated moment. Have a look here, this is the back. Have a look at it in the sketch. This is the front. This is where this line is in the sketch. Let's continue working. I need to match the next marks to do it. Here they are. I'm taking this seam now. I tacked it to the center front. Next, I need to match the marks on the side seams. Be very attentive. If you make a pattern accurately and attentively, you won't have any problems when taking. You can see that in this dress all the details match. You can see that I'm taking slowly and carefully, from one mark to the other. This is how the back looks like now. And this is how the front looks like now. Let's continue working. As I've already said, 
the more marks you draw, the less problems you have. You can see how two spiral details turn into a dress. There's just one detail left to be tacked, the lower one. I'm taking the last detail. This is the back and this is the front. The dress is almost ready for a fitting. I need to take the last seam. I'm taking the last detail. There are no side seams in this dress. The only seams are in the sleeves. Next, Ola will try the dress on. Have a look at her. She is wearing the tagged dress. It's not stitched yet. These are just modeling fabrics. Ola likes the dress so much that she's even ready to wear this one. The dress is pretty wide here, but at the same time it fits Ola perfectly. In this case, it's not necessary to make a zipper. You can see that Ola can put the dress on and off without it. The dress isn't even ironed yet. You can make a zipper on one of the sides if you want. It's hard to line such dresses, so I recommend making underdresses. Dolman sleeves are also pretty wide. If you want to make exactly the same dress, without side seams, you need to buy 2.5 meters of each fabric. I think that the dress looks very beautiful this way. Seams would spoil the view. The dress is pretty loose, but at the same time it fits the body perfectly. We loved the sketch, especially Ola, so we decided to make it. I know that you, my dear subscribers, are very talented. A lot of people send me photos of the clothes they make on the basis of my tutorials. They look amazing. That makes me so happy. You saw the mock-up we were working with. It was a mock-up for a quarter circle dress. Due to this fact, the dress is flared. So I think that it looks amazing. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. I hope that you like the design. I want to thank you for all the good words and comments. It makes me really happy to get positive feedback from you. Webaukste Irina and Ola. Guys, please subscribe to my channel, write comments, share videos and press the like and the bell buttons. I really need your support. Thank you. Goodbye.